Hi friends, thank you so much for joining me at home with Susanna and today we're going to be talking about worms and trash. This trash is going to become compost and for the first time I will be picking up some worms at a worm farm so please stay with me. We're going to be driving to Phoenix and I'll see you at the farm. I just got here and this looks pretty cool. If you have little kids, I'm sure they would really, really enjoy this kids play area. You can take some pictures. Here's a playground. You can even have a picnic. That's really cool the way they have it set up. I am at the worm farm and all these piles have a bunch of worms. This is where they feed them. Um, I'll show you a little bit around. They're allowing me to take a tour and um, anyone is uh, welcome to tour the facility here. So let's go for it. If I'm not mistaken, this is what they call their food forest and they're working on it right now. And not sure that they have a lot going on right now, but of course it's winter time. They have piles and piles of dirt, compost. And here are the chickens. Hi chickies. They also sell eggs over here. There's lots and lots of compost. The funny thing is that it doesn't smell. If you bring your kids, they are allowed to jump in here. So instead of a sandbox, you have dirt and a compost, I guess. And they get to play with worms. Although I don't see any right now, but I'm sure they're here. So we did find some worms. They were right under there. Cool. I'm home now and I've got my worms. Basically what I did is I called this morning and I asked them to reserve the worms for me because it took about 30 minutes to drive there so I didn't want to get there and maybe not have any. Um, it cost about $40. I know it's a little pricey but I do have two compost piles and I thought that it's a it's a good investment, $20 per garden, that's pretty good. Um, I'll show you what I do with it. Um, they asked me what, um, how I was going to use the worms and I told them exactly how. And they recommended that I just put them in the dirt, like by the, the actual garden. Um, and they will do what they need to do. Um, just to show you, the way my garden is, um, it's like a U shape and then right in the middle of it, um, I have the compost pile. So I will dig a little bit and I'll put the worms in there and they'll know where to go to eat the, um, their yummies. So I'm gonna get my special gloves. I already told you in a different video that these are kitchen gloves, but they're the best gardening gloves for me. I love them. They're simple, inexpensive. I can feel things, but I don't want to feel the worm. So this is actually perfect because, you know, it's not, it's not skin to skin. And I'm going to open this and see what's in there. Never, I've never done this before. I've never been a worm or a bug kind of person, but with the gloves, I'm okay. And I do appreciate their service. Let's see. All right. There's some moisture in here, so this is perfect for them. I'm actually very excited.
This is my second garden. It's a lot easier to see because I removed a bunch of the vines that I had. That's where I had my sweet potatoes and I, I have some seeds growing right now, uh, but in some areas it's still empty. So I'm just gonna add the worms here and there. We lost one. There you go. So let's remember what my garden looks like today it's in January 7th and here's my compost pile which has a lot of food scraps and I digged the dirt added some worms and hopefully they will do the job and this pile will come down here's the other place where I digged so I was digging around here too several places and I hope that this file goes down as well. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I hope you liked this video. Wish me luck. I hope my worms are hungry enough to make a difference in my garden. I will have to show you an update in the next couple of weeks and hopefully it's substantial enough that you can see a big difference. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content of this video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. It does mean a lot to me. And any minute that you spend with me, I truly appreciate it. So thank you for your support. Until next time, you take care and I hope that your garden is thriving just like mine.